If you've spent time with a toddler, you've probably experienced the sound and the fury of a temper tantrum. You know, the kind where a tiny child morphs into a wailing volcano of seemingly unbridled rage. But recent research shows there's much more going on and we can learn a lot from temper tantrums, especially when it comes to what toddlers actually think and feel. And that means we can use tantrums as a tool to help support kids' healthy development. When a toddler throws a tantrum, it's basically their brain's threat detection system working overtime. So there's a lot going on in their amygdala, which is the part of the brain responsible for processing big feelings, and in their hypothalamus, the brain center that controls unconscious things like heart rate and body temperature. And that would actually be all fine and dandy if it weren't for the fact that their prefrontal cortex, the part that helps regulate emotions and behaviors, isn't fully developed. So when a toddler totally loses it because their socks are the wrong color, it's because they literally can't control their overwhelming feelings yet. Now, historically, researchers thought that those overwhelming feelings were just one emotion, anger. They literally define tantrums as violent outbursts of rage. In fact, a diagnostic text from 1937 went as far as to describe tantrums as the strong desire to disturb, destroy, annoy, or annihilate. And this idea that toddlers were just unpredictable rage monsters informed a lot of parenting strategies over the years, even though it's wrong. Like, experts actually suggested splashing kids with cold water to cool their fury, which, for the record, is a terrible idea.